Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria for meeting for the first time and for those of you guys that are old friends and family to me and the YouTube channel, welcome back. So this message I was not expecting. It is so exciting and even as I'm talking about it now, I'm receiving more information, more downloads. So I'm going to try to get it all, gather it all. So the first thing that I heard was exemplary speed. I should also say that I heard this message, it was delivered to me while I was at the beach. I actually took a step away from my work today and readings in order to practice what it is that I'm preaching lately, to be honest with you, and just make sure that I'm living a, a more balanced life. So I went to the beach, was sitting there, did a cleansing for me, felt so good. And then I pulled myself up from the ocean, sat there, and I asked for additional information, messages, things that I could share with you guys. And the word exemplary speed came through. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I'll hear a word. I could have heard it um, a million times before, but somehow when I read that message, yeah, somehow when I hear that word and then I read the definition of it, it adds another layer. So exemplary means serving as a desirable model representing the best of its kind. What does it mean to be exemplary? Courage was exemplary. Oh, commendable. Oh, deserving imitation, commendable. His courage was exemplary. Also deserving imitation because of excellence. I heard the message exemplary speed, and this has everything to do with God-ordained spouses or relationships, partners, spouses coming together in this day and age at this time. Now, this felt really significant because there's something about the emphasis on today, today's day and age and how relationships are forming or they have formed but they seem to be very fractured. They don't have a foundation that has been stable. Now, this is not to say all of the relationships, but the divine was referring to a good chunk of some relationships that have been forming from and through COVID times did not have a really good firm foundation, a good healthy foundation. And I just heard the word despise. So it's almost like um, people are choosing people from to to squash out or to cancel out loneliness. There are certain things that were brought into this world, whether it be children or businesses or certain energies. I don't every every relationship is going to be different, but there are certain things that were birthed into this world from these connections coming together. And there, then it's not to say that it's not good. They are good. It's just that the divine doesn't like, and I just feel like someone's going to get upset about this, but this is not my words. I'm just channeling right now, but the divine doesn't like broken family type of energy. There's always this, this, the divine said that it's very generous in how it brings families together. And you would not know that I'm channeling as I'm saying, talking to you guys right now. You wouldn't know that by the way, by the weight of the world specifically, you would not know that by the weight of the world by the intensity of the world, by how the world has been fractured, how families that have come from a space of higher love, spiritual love, have been separated or split apart by really traumatic events, very, very traumatic events, things that should not be happening. And the divine despises this. It, it doesn't find it acceptable by any means. At the same time, Spirit says, I'm giving you permission to choose the partners or I've given you permission to choose the partners that you've needed to. Um, sorry, I wasn't expecting my phone to go off like that or my laptop. Um, I'm giving you the, the, there's like an L word that was coming through with that. Like I'll give you like wiggle room, like some type of flexibility, like Leniency, that's the word. Like, it real, like, I'll ease up the restriction. I'll ease up what you choose because of the circumstances. And for that reason, you, you could choose certain partners, but now the divine says this is exemplary speed. Like, 
what is going to happen when it comes to relationships. If you're in a position right now that you feel like you are splitting away from someone or separating from someone, it's about to get replaced. This person is about to get replaced with the actual person that you're meant to be with. The actual person who... I, I'm hearing like divinely ordained, like this is what the divine has. This is what the family dynamic should look like. As I say that, it brings me to the next piece of this message where this gives me a lot of anxiety as I say it because this is going to not trigger, but some of you guys have been holding, and this is the divine's words, you've been holding yourself hostage or holding your heart hostage meaning that you won't allow it to love. You won't allow it to show up. You won't allow anything or anyone to come in. You can't trust. And there's this, again, the divine says, I give you permission to hold, to like hold things away from you, push things away from you, wall things away from you. As I'm saying that though, I get a vision of someone holding their breath and like the blood vessels, you know, it's just like they're holding their breath for so long. The divine says that it's in your nature, it's natural for you to to love just as it is natural for you to breathe. So you're hurt, you're almost hurting yourself by holding your breath and expecting love or someone to hurt you, to fall apart. And now divine is bringing it back to exemplary speed, the rate at which you will be, I don't want to say forced to come together, but... For some of you guys, I don't want to freak you out, but this is literally what I'm saying. It's like two things just kind of crashing in. Like, knock on wood, no one gets hurt, but it's like two things come crashing in together. And it's it's meant, it's exemplary because it exceeds all stand like all standards. If we have a standard of excellence, it exceeds that and goes to infinity and beyond past that. This is what the divine has in store for relationships and family dynamics. As I'm saying that, I actually feel and believe that this will happen all over the world. I want to tell you transparently that as I say that, I almost want to second guess it because this is something that we haven't seen. But it brings me, holy crap, it brings me right back to the beginning, which it was that I said that there's something about this day and age, this time, where it's this generation, it's this time frame, it's not exactly what is that you would expect, but it's the right it's the right choice for you. It's the one for you. As I said, the right choice. It's not that it's a right choice. It's the it's the 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 option that would serve you best. It's the option that you may not necessarily choose for yourself, but it is the right thing, which is wild because that brings me back to a message that I am also just recorded today about how do you make the right choice? How do you know when you make the right choice? And Spirit said, it's not so much that there's a right or a wrong. It's about how it feels and having the freedom. This is a relationship, a chemistry, a connection that you would continuously choose again and again. It is unbelievable to you is how the divine says this this relationship is unbelievable to you. A person like this, a love like this, that it exists, unbelievable. There's like a wow, finally, I'm sorry, I'm just like listening to this too and I'm just like, there's going to be a surge in genuine partnerships. This I'm hearing that this is a result of the work that you've done. For some of you guys, wow, for some of you guys, and not everyone's going to love this, I, it is what it is, I'm just channeling right now, but you, some of you guys have actually split from the church and or split from organizations, things that make it so that you couldn't actually love fully. And you had to separate from certain things, certain family dynamics. It's like a whole, I don't wanna say reversal, but like, it's like you split yourself away from a mindset, a mentality, or quote unquote like morals, like things that people are so strict that they will and will not do you 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 ran from that you broke free from that and suffered as a result of that then healed because of that and now
The divine also wants to reference um, marriages that are already in existence that this might not reflect the choice that the divine would have had for you, but also saying that you have not been excluded from this prayer. That's very specific. It's like a, a bunch of people praying or setting intention for, and it's this overarching general, and there's this compassion that the, the divine feels for the drought of families, like the breaking, the, the complete breakdown of all of these different families. And spirit says that you never gave up. It's not too late. And it happens now with exemplary speed. I literally have chills. So for those marriages and unions that have already been developed and have already been fostered, meaning like this is your partner, your husband, your wife. So because you've already joined together in commitment or marriage, you you may not necessarily find that this person feels like the perfect one for you, but you're included in this prayer. You're included in this blessing, so you will receive the benefit of the younger generation calling out for, I just heard, a new legacy. <sighs> a new legacy. Now the divine wants to talk about like how you're, you can be toxic and like, I don't know, I'm hearing like paint, like, wow. So spirit is showing me like paint getting stripped off of wood and the wood, like you can bring new furniture to life is what spirit is saying. Like you could with the right material, you can bring new life. Also random, but the divine is talking about the future of our of our world and our globe. Yeah. So I, I'm seeing the letter like W, like a big, um, this feels so random, but I'm just going with the flow right now. There's this big W and it's, it's signifying the completion of a major cycle right now, like a massive, like de-shedding, cleansing, purge. We're not meant to have fear in that, but you're meant to understand and even be inspired by the world, our planet, doing what she does in order to get rid of illness, disease, and toxic buildup. And if you look at her fighting back or having a, a fever is how the divine is saying this. Like if you watch her having a fever and you are fearful of her, then ultimately you're kind of fearful of your own healing and your own process. I also heard the word deliverance and the divine wants me to look that one up. Deliverance. Oh my God, apparently it's a movie. <sighs> oh. The action of being rescued or set free, a formal or authoritative utterance. What does your deliverance mean? Deliverance is rescue from imprisonment, danger, or evil. Wow. Res release, rescue, liberation, salvation. What does deliver mean? To set free and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Wow. To take and hand over to leave for another country. So if you're watching how our planet is getting feverish or she's like releasing, like purging, you are ultimately afraid of this energy within yourself because you should simultaneously be doing the same thing. I just heard the word rectify and I meant to look that up too. Put right, correct, convert, to convert to direct current. What is the best cinnamon? Amend, fix, improve, redress, remedy, straighten out, adjust, debug. So there's this, like, we shouldn't also, the divine is saying that, I just heard fraught with fear. Like there's people who are fraught with fear. They're just hinged on their fear. And 
it's rightfully so that you feel that, but it's not necessary for you to feel it because what the planet is doing, what our earth is doing, and the season that we're in in our life is meant to bring things into a full culmination and to make things right and to make them better. And apply, Spirit has said very forcefully, apply this message to your own life that if you have been abused, violated, mistreated, di disadvantaged to some extent, you don't think that we, the divine angels and guides, aren't going to work to rectify that, to fix it. It is right, it is justified for you to expel, to to purge, to cleanse, to to remove certain things off of your energy. So if you're watching our planet suffering and struggling and doing all that she can in order to regain her own balance, then you're gonna, you also simultaneously will suffer and struggle within it for yourself. And don't be afraid. They're saying um, that when it comes to like animals and earth, I just can't talk about this without like crying, but when it comes to the animals on our earth, when they are reacting, they're, they're a vessel. Just like we're a vessel here. So when our earth is doing what she needs to do they feel that and they're 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 not it's almost like they're singing but they're calling out they're they're mourning because they feel they feel like they feel and this is not from a place of panic or fear it's in a place of it's justified for you to call out when you are in pain to call out when you are expelling like when you're purging, it's it would make sense for it not to be quiet. And for some of you guys, it's the same message as applied to your own your own pain. And the divine is asking for you to find similarity between you and the earth in that. I don't know why um, love and relationships, I think it's because... Well, I don't know why love and relationships are conjoined in this message. I'm sorry, love and relationships and the earth are conjoined in this message. But there, this message was meant to go together. And I'm asking, am I, sometimes when I'm trying to um, channel, I ask if I've completed everything and there's more to this message I just don't know what it is but I'm given permission to stop this this message here so thank you guys so much for being with me now in this moment please be easy on yourself really sit and think about what I just shared and how it applies to you I don't want to force you into that space the message is meant to give you freedom and to activate your heart space. That's what it is that I feel. Um, for those of you guys that are, again, old friends and family, thank you so much for our time together once again. Always a blessing. And for those of you guys that aren't subscribed and passing forward and moving on, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for this moment and this time together. You are not obligated to stay, but either way, it has been such a gift that our paths have crossed and I'm setting the intention for your peace, for your healing, for your strength, for your prosperity, that you are good, that you are safe, that you feel supported, that you feel loved. And if we meet again, then that would be good. But if not, you have my blessings and you have my love. So until then, you guys, um, I'm going to sit with this because I feel like there's more to this message. But again, spirit is kind of cutting it off right now and I'm okay with that. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.